Are you free on the 4th? You may have been asked that question leading up today or maybe you asked that question of someone else. Your answer may vary. Some of you are free to do things, free to roam about the country, free to get together, social distancing. I wanna ask you, are you free on the 4th? And while you're celebrating the 4th of July, our independence as a country, I wanna give you something to contemplate. We've just come off of Juneteenth, not far away. Here we are on the 4th of July. We are celebrating physical freedom, celebrating political freedom. I want to ask you, are you free from sin? Can you sing like this songwriter, glorious freedom, wonderful freedom, no more in chains of sin I repine. Jesus the glorious emancipator, now and forever he shall be mine. I got to that point, John 8, 36, when I took off on the information superhighway and went back to find out more about Juneteenth and, and what that day was all about. I already knew what July 4th was about. But when I got to Juneteenth and I understood, and began to gain an understanding of what had transpired that day there in Galveston and how that when the good news had finally reached after two and a half years, the people there, the slaves there, with the news of the Emancipation Proclamation and the celebration that took place, it jolted my mind and jostled me. And there I went back to, man, a Sunday night at Bethel Church of the Nazarene on Broadmoor in Nashville, Tennessee. And the Holy Spirit convicted me of my sin. He convicted me of Christ's righteousness, my need for a savior. And I repented of my sins. I cried out to Jesus and I experienced freedom in Christ. I experienced what it meant to be free from the guilt of sin, to free from that carnal nature and the carnal affections. On this day, on the 4th of July, where we're celebrating our freedom, and I encourage you, if you can, to, to celebrate the best of your ability. Will you contemplate whether or not that you are free? Look at John 8, 36. He says, him who the Son has set free is free indeed. You may not be free politically, you may not be free physically, but we become free from sin, free from that sin bondage to enter into a union with Christ and to live in the context and to be what he would have us to be. Happy 4th of July. Thank you for taking time to watch this, even if it's like the 4th or 5th of July. God bless you. Keep on keeping on. And remember, man, this is a celebration not just to last throughout the year, but the celebration of glorious freedom is something to last throughout a lifetime.